Welcome back to Medinair. In this video, let's discuss about cell membrane of human cell. It is the protective barrier of cell against foreign body or antigens. Materials exchange between cell cytoplasm and external environment occurs through this membrane so that a constant intracellular environment is maintained for proper functioning of the organelles. In the year 1972, Singer and Nicholson explained the structure of a cell through a model called fluid mosaic model. They said that a cell membrane consists of a double layer of lipids that contains protein molecules. The lipid bilayer permits flexibility of the cell while still maintaining the structural integrity and it makes it selectively permeable. In the fluid mosaic model, the fluid component of the membrane is the lipids and the mosaic component is the membrane proteins. So basically a cell membrane is made up of lipids, proteins and carbohydrates. Now let's have a look at the amount of lipids, proteins, the cell membrane of various cells have. From this we can say that the proteins are major constituents of the cell membrane and Inner mitochondrial membrane has the maximum protein concentration. Also note that only myelin sheath of nerve cell membrane have higher lipid content than protein. Now we'll discuss about the membrane lipids in detail. Lipid has a head and a tail where the head is polar and the tail is non-polar. The head region is hydrophilic whereas the tail region is hydrophobic. For this reason, we call lipids as amphipathic molecules. Here are the three types of membrane lipids. They are phospholipids, glycolipids and sterols. Lipids with phosphate group attached makes it phospholipids. When carbohydrate group is attached to lipids, we call it glycolipids. Whereas sterols are basically cholesterols. Among these three, phospholipids are the most abundant type of lipids. Lipids are unequally distributed. Glycolipids are usually seen on the outer side, whereas phospholipids are seen on the inner side. Here are some types of phospholipids that we could possibly find on the cell membrane. They are phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidylserine, phosphatidylinositol, phosphatidylethanolamine, sphingomyelin, and cardiolipin. The next class of lipids found on the cell membranes are glycolipids. They are particularly abundant in human brain and gastrointestinal tract. The glycolipids present in the cell membrane are gangliocytes and cerebrocytes. The glycolipid present on the surface of a red blood cell determines the blood group of a person. The lipids here have a unique feature called fluidity. Cell membrane needs the state for its optimum functioning. Transition of highly aligned gel state of hydrophobic fatty acids become disordered liquid state at a temperature called transition temperature. Membrane fluidity is inversely proportional to transition temperature. The fluidity of a membrane depends on its cholesterol phospholipid ratio. In eukaryotes, this ratio is 1 is to 1. So, membrane fluidity depends on the type of fatty acids their degree of saturation and the temperature. Membrane proteins. These are the maximum constituents in all cell membranes. They are the mosaic components of fluid mosaic model. The following are the three types of the membrane proteins. They are integral membrane proteins, peripheral proteins and lipid anchored proteins. Integral proteins are present throughout the entire thickness of the membrane and they are also known as transmembrane proteins. They serve as channel proteins, ion pumps, carriers, receptors and enzyme protein. Peripheral proteins are inserted lightly on the outer or inner border of the membrane. They are of two types such as intrinsic and extrinsic proteins. We can find a layer of loosely covered carbohydrate on the external surface of the cell membrane. We call it glycocalyx or cell coat. These carbohydrates are usually oligosaccharides. That brings us to the end of the video. 
I hope you guys liked it. Thank you for watching.